I'd also like to share another story at this time of, of um, one of the reasons why, um, why I really want to be able to butcher animals on our farm, which is, comes to the, the, the idea of, of, of suffering and, and pain and, and things like that, because there, you know, uh, uh, you know, death can be, um, I, I believe that death is, is just another part of life. Um, but that being said, there, uh, you can have an unpleasant death um, and a pleasant one. Um, and so right now, the way we have to, you know, butcher animals is we have to load them on a trailer and take them away for an hour where they have to spend overnight in a, in a building uh, that they've never been in before with concrete floors and lights. And then in the morning, they, they have to be um, shot and inspected by a provincial inspector just so that people can eat it. Um, whereas the animals that we butcher ourselves on the farm, we are able to have a much, um, much more intimate uh, relationship and, and involvement in that process. And one of the interesting things that, that uh, happened when I was taking the herbal apprenticeship is I became aware of the, the sort of the tradition of, of, uh, of asking for permission when you take something which is a really good practice to get in, involved in, um, uh, even more so than, than, than the, of giving thanks, is just acknowledging that, um, that something has been giving, given. And so, you know, traditional people, whenever, they, whenever they, they would go harvest medicine, they would either have songs or dances or, or ways of, of asking for permission before they would go out and harvest these things. And then after, after if permission was given, because sometimes it wasn't, um, then they would, they would take only what they needed and then give thanks and, and they, you know they remembered these these plants and even animals in their songs and so uh, that was a practice that I got involved in in you know making my own medicine and, and things like that and and I wondered one day would it work for animals um, and uh, and so we had a, a pig roast last year uh, on our farm as, a, as one of our celebrations and uh, I knew the pig that I was gonna harvest and so I, I went out the day before and I, you know, had a little chat with the pig, and I told them that, you know, what we were going to do, and and uh, and why we were doing it, and and how, um, you know, he he would be used. And uh, the next day, when I went out to to, uh, you know, with the with the gun, to uh, um, to do the processing, um, uh, this pig came up to me, and he laid down, right in front of me. <laughs> and he, he looked looked me in the eyes. He didn't move, and I was able to <laughs> to you know make a clean shot, and that was it. No suffering. Yeah. <clears throat> and so to me, um, that's really what we're trying to do here is is sort of get to that level of of mutual understanding that is so so in, in sync with each other that. You can literally do those things on a, on a regular basis, and uh, and uh, everybody's needs are looked after, and there's there's no unnecessary suffering, and and um, and in that way, then too, you know, the the pig's body that we don't eat can go back to the land and be composted, and you can have this other whole other you know functional return of of, of elements. But um, yeah, that was a pretty uh, pretty powerful experience for me.